A friend of mine requested me to make a video which I stated would be done within 10 days, and lo and behold, a month later, here I am. I'm only a little bit over the due date, but here I'm going to be answering the question. What's the difference between progressive video in comparison to interlaced? Both refer to how the frames of a video are distributed but both do it by different means. They are technically known as scanning methods. First of all, let's take a look into what interlaced is. It creates the illusion of having double the frame rate of a given display without actually hogging any extra bandwidth. This is achieved by displaying half of the given frame and then instantly afterwards displaying the other half for the same amount of time. Let's put this into a real world example. Say your television was advertised to output 60 frames per second, but it used an interlaced scanning method. What it would actually be doing is taking 30 frames and distributing them across all 60 scanning fields. This type of scanning method can be written as the vertical resolution followed with a lowercase i and then the resulting advertised frame rate. For example, a video rendered at 1920 by 1080 interlaced can be written as 1080i60. The interlaced scan type has a tendency to flicker on details, thus there is an induced blur to avoid the heavy flicker. However, this flicker is still noticeable, but by much less. This presents a considerable drop in image quality. This method was mostly used in older, more outdated technologies such as CRT and ALIS, and this was to be used due to the limited bandwidth of the displays. Cameras can pick this up very easily, which is why some CRTs would appear to show more flickering than what the human eye can see. Now let's move on to progressive. This one is far more prevalent in the modern world and the chances are that you're watching this on a progressive display such as an IPS panel. And of course this video was rendered in progressive as well. Progressive is where the full frame is displayed at once, so yes, it is really outputting the advertised frame rate. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It is written as the vertical resolution followed by a lowercase p and then the frame rate. So a 1920 by 1080 video at 60 fps will be written as 1080p 60. This scan type is in anything from mobile phones to TVs. Every IPS panel makes use of progressive and pretty much every modern monitor has the bandwidth to handle it. So it ultimately obsoleted interlaced. But interlaced is still used in some places such as ultra budget monitors and school projectors. If you were to watch a progressive video on an interlaced display, you would experience some screen tearing. In conclusion, progressive is miles superior to interlaced scanning. With the bandwidth that modern displays pertain, interlaced in the vast majority of cases is simply no longer needed. Yes, there are some exceptions such as heavily outdated monitors or school projectors. So I hope you found this video at all helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and maybe even subscribe for more. But anyway guys, I'm Duo from How To Compute and I will catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.